In reality, we see a lot of patients that have pretty low risk breast cancers where maybe we could use a shorter course of radiation or maybe omit radiation entirely. And then sometimes we see you know, some higher risk cases where we may have to use more extensive aggressive radiation. So really what it comes down to is assessing each and individual's you know, personal risk. One thing that's really important for radiation is the planning session, which we call a CT simulation. That's really the first step which forms the basis of each individual radiation plan. We go through the process with, with this being generally a daily treatment, really only about a 15 minute appointment that's necessary, and try to explain a little bit about what their experience is. The fact that we have to bring them into our treatment area, which we call the, the linear accelerator, and how my therapist may interact with them during the treatment. Pretty much radiation is a non-invasive treatment, so that's one big question we always get is, am I going to feel sick? Am I going to feel ill? Is anything going to hurt me during a treatment? And that is uh, not the case with external beam radiation. Generally, the machine is rotating to a specific angle that we've planned for, and specifically for breast cancer, that's very important. There's lots of organs in that area, like the heart, the lungs, sometimes the breast tissue itself that we want to avoid, the bones. And so as that machine is rotating around, my therapists are directing it to the appropriate angle so that it's delivering effective and accurate radiation. We have new and different regimens for breast cancer every year that come out, new indications for it, new ways to treat, new regimens, durations, length of treatment. And that's one thing that we, we love to do here at Rocky Mountain Cancer Center is present all the options and guide that patient to what they feel is best. Thank you.